this entire website is running off this tiny board. You can visit this web page yourself. This is the XPI 35660, a tiny but powerful single board computer by Genia Tech. It looks like a Raspberry Pi Zero but with even better performance. It runs on a quad core Cortex A55 up to 1.8 GHz processor speed with up to 8 GB RAM and 128 GB eMMC storage. This one here has 2 GB RAM and 8 GB storage. Check the full specs on their website. I also attached the 240 GB SATA SSD to store more files. We have Linaro we have Linaro we have Linan Linaro. We have Linaro Linux already pre-installed. Now we have to connect to our board through SSH and to do that we first need to get the IP address and we can get that from our router page and here we go. This is our IPv4 address and that is what we are going to use to connect to our board. Now let's open our terminal. On Windows you can use putty. Now we are going to run the command SSH and then the username which by default in my case is linaro at and then the IP address. And then hit enter. The password for Linaro, which came pre installed, is Linaro as well. And here we go, we are now logged in. Now, if you type in ls, we should see you have desktop, and that is the only folder on this machine. Now, we're going to update and upgrade our packages, and to do that, run sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade. That's why. Now this is going to update our packages. Next, we are going to install Apache Web Server. So let's run sudo apt install apache 2 y Next, we are going to enable Apache by running sudo system ctl enable apache2. And then we're going to run sudo system ctl start apache2. Now, if this is working properly, we should be able to go to our browser, head to the address of this server, and you can see apache default web page. Now, let's go to the directory where this is showing from. You can simply do cd slash var slash www and then ls. And you can see HTML folder right there. Let's do cd HTML ls, and you can see our index.html, which we can easily delete by doing rom dash rf and then specify the name. Now be careful with these commands as you may. We have to use sudo. And We've removed the index.html. Now, if we go back to this page and refresh, you can see it is empty. Now, we want to connect our domain with Cloudflare. So, instead of visiting this address locally, we should be able to use our domain to access the site that is running on this board. And to do that, first we have to sign up with Cloudflare. So, here is Cloudflare. We also have to log into our domain registration company. So here is our domain from Namecheap, etechbox.store, and we want to connect this domain to this Cloudflare account. So to do that, simply go to Cloudflare and click on add, and then connect a domain. Here we can enter our domain name, which in my case, it is etechbox.store. Enter the domain, and then continue. Now we're going with the free option. Now we can delete all of these records. And then continue to activation confirm here we have to copy this name server right here which we're going to replace our namecheap name servers so we head back to namecheap and manage our domain it may be different depending on the domain company you're using here we're going to select custom dns and then paste in our domain name servers now we can save and here we go you can click on continue on cloudflare and you can see it is now checking to see if the connection is done 
Now this should take a few minutes and we should be able to see our domain connected to Cloudflare. So let's just proceed with the next step. Now let's download and install the latest version of Cloudflare. So copy and paste this command. This is going to be available in the video description. Next, we have to run sudo dpkg and then cloudflare linux arm64.deb and now we have to authenticate cloudflare with cloudflare and to do that we're going to run cloudflare tunnel login and here we can copy this address to our browser Here we are going to click on our domain etechbox.store and then authorize. And you can see Cloudflare has installed a certificate allowing our origin to create a tunnel on this zone. Now we can close this page, head back to our terminal. Now we are going to create a new tunnel and to do that type in Cloudflare tunnel creates and then your tunnel name which in this case I'm going to call it etechbox underscore store you can call it wherever you want hit enter and you can see it has created the tunnel with ID and this is our ID now let's copy this ID and then paste it in our notepad we're going to make use of this later now we're going to create a new directory for cloudflare in our etc folder so we're going to run sudo make directory dash p slash etc slash cloud flood and hit enter now we're going to run sudo nano slash etc slash cloud flood slash config dot yml which is our configuration file we're going to work with here you're just going to copy and paste this and the UUID is the UUID we copied earlier into our text. So we're just going to head back, copy, and then paste it there. We're also going to paste it at this second part under credential file. Paste it there as well. So next, we're going to edit the host name and then change the host name here to your domain etechbox the store is mine and we can press ctrl o hit enter to save ctrl x to close this page next let's head back to cloudflare in our browser by now your domain should be connected already if it isn't then you can wait now let's go to dns settings under dns we're going to add a new record so we'll click on add And we're going to add a C name, and the root is going to be at, which is our domain. And then the target is basically going to be our UUID, pasted there, dot cfago tunnel dot com. Now we're going to save, and then head back to our terminal and run this command: cloud flood tunnel run etec box underscore store which is our tunnel name and it should run and if this works properly we should be able to access our website from our browser etechbox.store and you can see it is working fine this is good now we can easily just move our website files and everything should work but before we do that we're going to set cloudflare to run as a service and then we're going to install webmain after that we can install wordpress or move our website here so let's ctrl c and then we are going to sudo cloudflare service install in my case it is already installed so for this video i'm just going to uninstall and install again so we're going to run sudo cloudflare service uninstall and now I can install 
pipe down in sudo plan fled service install it should install almost immediately next we can start cloud fled by running sudo system ctl start cloud fled next sudo system ctl enable cloud flare let's just confirm everything is working yes and we've successfully connected our domain through cloudflare reverse proxy now we're going to install webmin control panel so we can manage everything through webmin even while we are away from our board because right now i'm connecting using an ip address of which i am on the same network with so if i'm away from my house i wouldn't be able to access this so now we are going to install webmin now to install webmin just paste this command it is in the video description webmin has been installed now to confirm if webmin is running we can simply go to etechbox.store colon 10,000 you could also access it from our server IP address 10,000 well I'm having catching issues so I'm going to use another browser so you can see I can access webmain from another browser and the username is your username for your board mic is Linaro and your password is whatever your password is as well and let's sign in so here we go webmin is installed but we want to access webmin from cpanel.etechbox.store so we can assess it whether we are home or when we are not home as well so let's head back and then now we are going to edit our configuration file so just run sudo nano and then etc cloudflare config.yml now we're going to make few changes here to accommodate webmin i'm going to paste everything in the video description as well so i'm just going to paste them here so we have the first host name for etechbox store and then we have the second host name for port 10000 which webmin is on and we can hold ctrl o and then hit enter to save and then ctrl x now let's head to our c panel here we're going to add a new record again c name and then the name this time is going to be c panel or whatever you used and then we are going to copy the content from the previous one which is uuid and then dot cifagotunnel.com so you can just type it there or copy and paste save and we are done with that now let's restart cloudflare by running sudo system ctl restart cloudflare if it works well we should be able to access our store from our store page good and we should be able to access the cpanel from cpanel.etechbox.store right so now we can now access our cpanel from this address cpanel.etechbox.store now whenever you want to create a new subdomain this is exactly what you're going to do go to your configuration file and then add a new record for a new subdomain and then go to your dns record and then add the subdomain as well now we can close our terminal since we are going to be working directly from our cpanel now now we can log in with the username which is your system username and the password which is your system password as well and this is our webmain dashboard running from cpanel.etechbox.store now we have many features here we can go to tools and here you can find file manager which should help you with managing all your files we also have the terminal and from here we can basically send in all the commands even without being physically there with our board we have networking hardware and so much more you could explore these options here but for now i'm just going to upload my website files by going to file manager i also noticed that the web main panel when using the domain is quite unresponsive i mean it is still loading var but if i'm running it from this physical local address it is 
running faster so from here i'm just going to upload my website files from var we have www and then html here we can upload our website files so i'm going to go to file and then upload to current directory and then upload our file upload here we can extract our file and here we go now if we open our website etechbox.store you can see it is now opening and it works now you could install wordpress you could basically build your website from scratch and host it and everything would work just fine so basically that is how to set up and host your website on xpi 3655 by genia tech this is a small piece of hardware that allows us to host our website this setup can easily handle 20k visits a day and you are in full control now this process is quite long but if you want full server control without the hassle of setting it up yourself then i would recommend using our sponsor fusira they also have game hosting and dedicated servers so you should be able to get a server tailored for your need i would recommend fusira if you're looking for a reliable vps service for your web project and servers the link is in the video description so make sure to check them out if this video was helpful kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification thank you for watching and i will see you on the next one